Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video I am going to be doing another unboxing. So I'm going to be unboxing the Jack Jacks uh, Dumbbell Connect. I did a previous video where I unboxed the Kettlebell Connect 2 from Jack Jacks and obviously I mentioned in that video that I had ordered the Dumbbell Connect as well so this video is going to be for that. As I mentioned in the previous video, we have a home gym set up, so we don't have space to be able to get a dumbbell rack with individual dumbbells, pairs of dumbbells. There just isn't the space for that in here, so we went down the adjustable dumbbell route and we settled on getting the Jack Strokes dumbbells. They are very new out, so I'm interested to see how they perform and uh, what they are like. So I will be doing a full review on this as well, so that once I've got used to the dumbbells and used them quite a lot in my workouts and things like that, I'll be able to do a full review and opinions on it. But for now, this is just going to be sort of um, what you get inside the Dumbbell Connect box. I'll show you everything that you get in it. And then I'll show you an initial setup of the dumbbells themselves and how easy they are to sort of configure and use. So that is what this video is going to be about. And then I'll do the full review later on when I've got a chance to use them properly. So we will get straight into the unboxing of the dumbbells themselves and then we'll get into the initial setup and then I'll finish off the video at the end. So from now on, you won't be able to see my face at all. You'll literally just be able to see my feet. So I'm going to show you everything that you get inside the Dumbbell Connect box. Um, so we're going to do that now. I have opened it, but obviously I've not looked inside. So on first look, we have the Dumbbell Connect user manual, which will obviously have all the instructions like it was in the uh, Kettlebell Connect box. So that is that. We have a... USB-C cable here, which will be used to power the bases and supply power to the actual dumbbells themselves. So that's that. I can only see one cable at first glance and I know there's two stands for each of the dumbbells. So hopefully there's another cable in the box, otherwise maybe um, they connect together, I don't know. And then we have some of the weights that go inside so these are what the weights look like looks like there's two of them but they actually slot into each other so for now i'm not gonna sort of move them around um i don't see any labels on first inspection so i guess we'll figure that out when we set everything up but that's the first one and we do have another on the other side too which looks to be exactly the same just another set and don't see any labels on that either. So that is that one. Take the polystyrene off. And inside we have this first. So we've got the actual dumbbell itself here. So it's got a nice metal um, grip with like don't know if you can see that, but it's sort of like textured, so you've got more grip on it. And obviously, Jack Jock's logo in here, and the bits that everything will slot into later. So that is that. That's one of them. And we have another stack of weights here that will obviously go into the dumbbell itself. So again, not labelled, but I'm assuming they will slot in somehow, so we'll figure that out. Got another set on the other side of the dumbbell, which are here. Again, we've got five there. We have one of the bases for the dumbbells so the weights will obviously slot into here and then the dumbbell is slot uh, in there as well so again like we had on the kettlebell connect you've got the LCD screen here with the minus and the plus for changing the weights and a slot on the back for the USB um, so that is that 
and then it's literally just the same thing again but for the second dumbbell so you get a repeat of whatever I've set up here for the second dumbbell so we will get everything sort of set up and taken out the box and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I have read the instructions, everything that I need to set up one uh, dumbbell is here, so I'll set up each one at a time. It basically says that you need seven weights that will go on each side of the dumbbell, so obviously we've got five here and two here, so it'll be uh, a five and a two for each side of the dumbbell, so we will set those up. It's literally just a case of slotting the weights into uh, the sections, so you've got this little groove here and you've got a little groove on the side, so it basically just lines up, you just have to slot them in. So that's, that's a set of five already slotted in. Then we've got the set of two. Nothing's labelled, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. So we just slot the other two into there. So that's all seven on that side. Then again, repeat the same thing on the other side. Find the groove, slot the weights in. So that's the five on that side and the extra two. So they're all in there. They're not going to fall over into the base or anything like that. They're all slotted in. There's grooves in the actual stand itself. And then the dumbbell goes in after that. And it basically just slots in to the grooves. And then that's it. That's pretty much the whole thing set up. Obviously, it's quite heavy now because it's got, what is it, 50, 50 pounds on it. So that is the way that it's set up fully. Looks quite nice. We'll get it all, I'll get the other um, set all configured up and then we'll plug them in and I'll show you the configuration of actually changing the weights and things like that but it is very very simple to set up and it looks really nice as well really clean um, in the stand and things like that so I'm going to get a lot of good use out of this okay so I've got both of the um, dumbbells set up one there and one in the corner over there Hopefully the camera angle will be okay for what I'm going to show you. So I'm basically going to show you how to select the weights um, on the actual base itself. So the base is off right now but they are plugged in. If you press any of the buttons, either one, it comes up with the Jackstrox logo, the Bluetooth to obviously say that it is trying to connect to an app or anything like that. The app is obviously used for tracking your weights and your reps and things like that within the app. Um, but then as soon as the screen comes on, you have the weight in the middle, the big number in the middle, and the screen does go off quite quick. Then um, you've got the battery of the base and the dumbbell itself, and then the unit in which you want to use. So I've changed mine to kilos. I will show you how to change two pounds though. It's basically just you hold the plus button until the weight um, blinks, and then you press the plus again to change to pounds. So there it's changed from kilos to pounds, so it's showing eight now. If I wanted to change it back to kilos, because obviously I work in kilos quite a lot, so I like mining kilos, I just hold the button again, release, and then, oh, hold on. It came off the setting. So hold until it blinks. The, the units button will blink and then you press, but you have to be quite quick about it. It's done it again. So hold, let the units button blink, and then press the plus to change it to kilos. So again, that's now in kilos. So depending on what weight you want to select, it starts from 3.6. Uh, as I showed in my kettlebell um, unboxing, when it beeps, that means it's ready to take it off the rack. Don't unrack it before that beep. So you've got 3.6 as the lowest weight, then 6.4, 9.1, Eleven point eight, fourteen point five, seventeen point two, and then twenty, which is the I think it's the final weight. Um, I'm obviously not going to lift twenty kilos because that's quite heavy, and I'm on the floor trying to show you the video. So we'll just cycle it back around. Oh, it's got the next weight, which is twenty-two point seven. I forgot they add seven on there, so it's got um, 
the original kettlebell then it's got so it's got one for the just the uh, dumbbell itself and then two three four five six seven eight weights in total on the dumbbell so we're going to cycle back around so if I press plus it'll go to the lowest weight so it's going to cycle through and just make sure that all those are unracked and then you'll be able to pick it up I have found just in initial use of it that sometimes the weights on the side do get stuck um, to the other ones just where it's catching as you pull it out of the slots but it's not major you're not going to dislodge any of the other weights it's just, it just sticks a bit so you unrack like that you've got the dumbbell here itself just with it on its own slot it back in wait for the beep for it to register that you've got the, the dumbbell back in the rack and then you can reselect a different weight so we'll go to the next one up and then as you see it selects two weights rather than the one and again just racking back in and then it beeps and that's basically it so it's very very simple to use I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this and it's gonna save a lot of time um, because I was previously using my uh, my little plate dumbbells so it's gonna save me a heck of a lot of time not having to change the weights in between every single exercise that I do so yeah when I've had a chance to properly use them and get used to them I'll do a full review on it and yeah that's about it if anyone has any questions I'll obviously be happy to help with any of the questions that you have but it looks like a decent bit of kit so far um, build quality it looks fine I can't really tell what the material is made of I'll put a pop up of it so you can see what the actual material is look it uh, looks like but it looks like it's going to be quite durable um so we'll see how that goes and i'll obviously touch on that in my review when i do it so yeah so that was the unboxing and the initial setup of the dumbbells themselves i'm actually quite impressed the quality looks really good i didn't expect the handle to be metal i don't know why i'd probably seen it on the website but i just didn't expect it to be metal uh, so they do feel really good quality and the sort of process of setting up the dumbbells on the stand was really easy and they do look pretty cool um, sat in the corner and they, take up, they don't take up a lot of space. So I'm actually really happy with them so I'm interested to see how I'm going to get on with them for workouts and things like that. Obviously I'm not going to be at the point where I can lift the whole weight of the dumbbell. I think they go up to £50. I'm not at that stage yet, nowhere near. But obviously it gives me that expansion in there to be able to go up to that eventually, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty impressed with them so far. Not had any issues with um, like playing around with them that I've done so far. So we'll see how they uh, do. And then in the future I'll do a full review on uh, the dumbbells themselves like I will for the kettlebell. So if you are interested in that then keep an eye out. If you found the video helpful then give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this and more fitness and health related content. Other than that I hope you're all staying safe and well. I hope you enjoy your weekend, week, whenever it is that you're watching this and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.